What's going on, you guys? How you guys are doing here? This is my BRK First Alert hardwired battery backup smoke alarm. I was having a problem with the smoke alarms going off non-stop in the house. I changed the batteries and they were still going off. The batteries I tested were reading 9 volts. Even though I put these in in March 9th, 2020, I changed them anyway. I tell you, once a year... Um, not the normal chirping, you know, like if you were cooking and all the smoke alarms were going off and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. So I dug up my voltmeter and I started to do troubleshooting like I learned from the videos with Shango and I discovered that the smoke alarm had a problem, you know, that was hardwired within the circuit of the smoke alarm. Um, so... And I noticed the battery shot over 9, 9.6 volts and went up higher in value. And what determined was when that battery somehow shorted, it took a power surge and it damaged the internal 9 volt battery. This should read 9 volts. And some will drop in, in value and go way down and you hear that chirping. Let me show you how you test the battery. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. This is the way I have the meter set up. I'm going to put my black probe and my red probe on the battery and I'm reading 9.4 volts. Now on the other battery it was reading 9.6 9. That's way out of tolerance. I set my voltmeter on DC and that's what my batteries are reading. Even though this battery is a year old and I'm testing a new battery that I, that I bought this year and it's reading a little bit. It's reading 9.49, which is intolerant. If it drops like 7, that's an issue. But here's a voltmeter I bought. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. I have some other meters as well. But this is the BRK, First Alert, Smoke Alarm, Hardwired, and Battery. They're all in a circuit. And the unit failed, my old unit. Even after I replaced all the batteries, it still would not make a difference. And I troubleshooted the problems of this one particular smoke alarm that was acting a little erratic. And I knew what the problem was, and I learned from watching Shango's videos on YouTube how you have to test every area of the circuit, not just, uh, not just one area specified in the circuit. You have to test multiple areas of the circuit. The current, the voltages, everything drops. If there's a, an internal short, and I owe it all to Shango, and the list goes on. And I learned from watching the videos with Jordan Pierce. But uh, this is the BRK First Alert. And this is a hard white and an internal battery. So if the power does go out, these will still power off the 9 volt batteries. But I want to encourage everyone to always change your smoke alarm batteries once a year. Now, even though I put these batteries in March of 2020, they're still testing fine. You know, yes, they tell you to change your batteries every six months. Now, what I find very interesting is even though these were in all the other smoke alarms and I changed them anyway, the one smoke alarm after I changed the battery, it kept making all of them go off like if you were getting smoke in the house. There was no smoke. I tested all the circuits. The circuits on its own dedicated circuit. Everything's testing out fine. And I changed the plug also that's hardwired to make sure I make sure it's getting a good connection. And what happened is one of the batteries failed and, and jumped all the way on the chart. And it put too much voltage through the smoke alarm. The smoke alarm acted erratically and, 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 and the board got fried on it. Because you can't power these without a battery. If the battery fails with inside the unit, it will take the unit out. And the, and the board failed on my other um, first alert smoke alarm. I went this route because it was it was the best way to go. If I, if I changed to the um, other brand of smoke alarm, then you got to change every one. And I have seven smoke alarms hardwired. And it came with a battery, which is really, which I'm very happy about. But let me show you what a new battery now this is my new battery I bought this year, 2021. 
And I'm going to show you how I do these probes. I'm going to put the black and the red together. And I'm reading 9.46 volts. That's a new battery from 2021. Now what's interesting is when I repeat this process, and I put the battery back over here from March of 2020. And, you know, unless I... You shouldn't wait till you hear a chirp and to check the batteries, though. That's a, that's a misconception. I'm reading 9.48 volts. These batteries are still good. And that's what I want to talk about. A lot of times we feel as though we have to wait last minute for the smoke alarm to chirp and tell us low battery. I test my voltages and I test things regularly to make sure that things are functioning properly. You need to have a good voltmeter. And one of the things you don't want to do on these voltmeters is touch these probes because you can, you know, there's an internal fuse in here and it can short circuit it and blow the fuse. And if you do too high of a voltage, you can destroy the voltmeter. And I've been learning, I know a lot about electronics. I admit it, I love videos and doing different things. And I installed this already and I encourage everyone to always test your batteries. I dated this new battery, I wrote the dates on these. So I know what's new and what's old. So this is what I wanted to share with everybody. Hope you got something out of the video. Until next time.